Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been another couple months since my last video, and as you've seen from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about pre-qualifications versus pre-approvals, what the slight differences are, why you should get one, and why it's important to have one in today's real estate market. So first off, for those who are just tuning into my channel, my name is Dan, or otherwise known as Value Man Dan, and on this channel, I talk about real estate topics, in regards to be, being a real estate agent in a Long Island area and also I go over some personal finance topics and videos as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, but without further ado, let's get into it. So a pre-qualification or a pre-approval is a document that a lender will give to you letting you know how much house you can afford based on how much you earn and how much you spend. And a pre-qualification is basically the first step in determining how much house you can afford and what the price range of a house you should afford is. So the main thing about a pre-qualification is that the lender is basing off, is basing their number or their recommended budget based off information that you give to them. So this means that you will tell them how much money you make per year or per month, how much money approximately you spend in terms of credit, uh, buying things, your car payment, how much money you spend per month and how much you have left over and also generally any other income sources and you basically just tell them, tell this lender how much you make and they'll determine how much house you can afford based on that. Now you might think that a pre-qualification isn't very accurate and you're right because the lender has no way of actually determining or proving that exactly how much you make. They're just basing it on your word that that's how much money you make. Basically, a pre-qualification is a very simple process. You can go to any bank or direct lender and you can probably get a pre-qual within, within a day or within a couple hours. Pre-approval is a little bit more involved. You have to get the correct documentation and you have to submit it all to this person that you're working with and they can probably get you a pre-approval in one day but it could take up to a week for them to put together. So that means the main difference between the two is that a pre-approval, the lender will actually have to dig deeper and find out more information and more evidence about how much you make. And they usually do this by pulling your credit. They ask that you submit bank statements, essentially even your W-2, your tax returns, your pay stubs, they really want to figure out how much money you're making and just and they want to make sure that you're actually making that much money and actually spending that much money and that you actually have that much money in the bank. And I just want to briefly go over why it's important to have a pre-approval when you're shopping for real estate in today's market or especially in today's market. And because it is a seller's market, that means that there are a lot more buyers in this market that are competing for houses that are on the market, which means that price prices are going up quite a bit and people are usually bidding over each other trying to win this, um, win the deal and trying to get into the house that they want. Therefore, with this much competition, we're seeing like 30, 40 people at open houses with 10 to 20 plus offers on each house. Now this means that the sellers and the real estate agents want to filter out as many people as possible to filter them by how serious they are and if, they, if, they, if they're actually serious about buying the house that they're listing. So a popular method is by requiring that the buyers come in with a pre-approval to show that they can one, afford the house and two, have already spoken to a lender or a bank to get the ball rolling in terms of getting a mortgage and they're already on top of it. Now I do wanna say that sometimes buyers in this market aren't using a lender or a bank or need a mortgage. Sometimes they are even paying all cash. You may be asking if someone's paying all cash, do they still need a pre-approval? And the answer is no, because agents or sellers can also uh, accept proof of funds. Basically, it's a bank statement showing that you have enough money to either pay for the down payment or to pay for the entire house in cash. So if the house is worth $500,000, they want to see that you have at least $400,000 to $450,000 just to make sure you can cover um, whatever offer you're about to make. Having a pre-approval is also important like I mentioned previously because if there is a house that you really want and you want to make a competitive offer on it, not only will your offer be more likely to get seen and taken seriously, but also it'll help you be a little bit quicker in terms of getting a lender and getting that mortgage for you to have a pre-approval so you can be a little bit quicker in terms of getting that uh, lender to set up an appraisal and for the loan to actually, for the loan to go through. Now that's it 
Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail in regards to the two, but those are the main things that you should know about a pre-qualification versus a pre-approval and why it's important to have a pre-approval and not just a pre-qualification. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.